Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins and this is a second episode of Projectize, my project management show where I give you three things. The business of project management, how businesses use project management, and obtaining certification. And I came back with a second episode of Projectiles on the same day because I have so much to say about demystifying the process when it comes to project management training and receiving your certification. So for those who are new, welcome. My name is Carla R. Jenkins. I'm a certified project management professional, certified Scrum and Idol with 12 years problem solving experience using project management. And please share this out because this is very important. You can follow me, universal social media handle at carlarjenkins.com. My website is carlarjenkins.com. I greatly appreciate everyone, both live and replay viewers for watching this. So I most recently received my Idol 4 IT Service Management Certification, March 31st, 2019. And the reason why I'm doing this about the reasons why you should ask the right questions is because I want you to get the most bang for your buck. You can work with me. You can work with me. I do help people with project management consulting and um, IT service management consultant. If you do need help in the areas of IDO, uh, project management, professional certified scrum, but just to better educate the consumer of reasons to ask the right questions uh, so that you won't get finessed. And the finessed means cheated out of money or paying a higher price than uh, a market value that can get you the same return. So uh, I have a situation where someone got in contact with me because she congratulated me because I posted that I received my idol for March 31st. And then, you know, she said that she was interested in it and she wanted to study for it. So I asked her what, you know, what resources were she using? Because right now there aren't too many idol for resources and study exam because it was just released February 28th. So most of the... The in-person classes I know are just rolling out this April. So there aren't too many resources. I learned from this individual that she uh, was using a very reputable vendor, a very reputable company, but it took me aback because when I was looking for online practice exams for Idle 4, this same company said that the online practice exam was for Idle 3, which would be phased out in June of 2020. Not only was it surprising but her course was an online course. So there was no human interaction and it was hundreds of dollars. And that threw me like for a loop. So the reasons why you should ask the right questions or ask around is so that you won't be spending so much money on classes and, and resources and things to help you prepare for uh, your certification when you could have gotten a better return and more value for your money. And that's something, that's one of the reasons why I do this projectile show, because I want you to be in a situation to demystify the product, but to ask the right questions so that you can save the money and generate a higher return. And as I mentioned before, I also help people in project management consulting, project management exam, as well as I help people uh, and do consulting with IT service management and you can get in touch with me at carlarjenkins.com forward slash contact. And another reason why you should ask the right questions is to see whether or not the certification is actually for you. So I was asking around because, yes, I have the IDO3, which is IT service management. And I'll give you a little bit of background of IT service management. I'm recording this on a cell phone. And a cell phone is a contract. And it talks about availability. So you know, the features, the functions, um, how much the battery should, you know, if you have it plugged in, say I have it plugged into the charger to my laptop. So it's at a hundred percent, but how much juice should the battery have? It's it called service level agreements and service level agreements have defined outcomes. And so that's what IT service management is. Management the service contracts of the technology products and services that you use. So it's not just this, it's also your a laptop, it's Alexa, Siri, Cortana, your iPad, even your cable bill. That's technology. So, you know, Google Drive, AWS, you know, that's what IT service management is. 
But returning back to reasons why it's important to ask the questions is to know what you're getting out of the certification if it's for you. Now, I already had the IDOL 3 going into it. Upon learning that the IDOL 3 foundation would be phased out in June 2020, I made a decision to study for the uh, IDOL 4, which I passed. And if I didn't ask the right questions, this is what would have happened to me. I would not have known that the IDOL 4 is exclusively through people cert so it's online proctoring exam and most of my exams i would say my certified scrum not my certified scrum but idol three project management professional and my certified associate in project management so three out of the five were actually in person so before knowing that i'm i'm trying to use my alumna you know, discount to see whether or not I have to pay for, you know, a, a Pearson view or a um, Prometric testing center or some type of fee to go in there and it's online as Proctor. So that also means that I have to find the space where I live so that I can take my exam. I have to make sure that the room is situated a certain way. And those are questions that are very important. When you go on the Prometric or Pearson view, the onus isn't on me to set up the environment in a certain way that is acceptable to the testing administrator. But when you're doing your own online proctor exam, then it is. So it's like you're being your own, you know, Prometric or Pearson view, and you need to know whether or not you're online certification is strictly online or is an online or an in-person option. So that's very important. Another thing is uh, that I would say if it's online proctoring is testing your system capability. Uh, There were it, you know, I use a PC, but if you were using Apple, some of the people were experiencing firewall problems with iOS Now, that didn't happen with me, but I was very happy to schedule a compatibility test before taking the exam to make sure that my system was up to snub so there wouldn't be any technological breakdowns. What I also learned about that is that when I followed up, that I had to decrease, that I had to delete a download that was on my computer. So for me, it, it has this function on your desktop where you can uninstall the program. So I was thinking that if I uninstall the program, that it's gone. No, I have to delete the launcher that's in the download folder because if I come into the test and I download the new exam shield, then and that's that's the thing that if you're going through people certain idol four then what would happen is the new launcher in the download will conflict with the old one. So that's something I didn't know. And that's why I'm doing this as a second part of Projectize, the project management show, because these are some of the questions that you have to ask when you're doing the project management training and the project management certifications, you want to make sure that if it is online proctor, that your system is up to snub and that you completely wiped everything clear so there wouldn't be any conflicts. Because the worst thing in the world is to have the, the download combat or conflict with the firewall, the, the VPN, which is a virtual uh, private network or anything else. I mean, you are already nervous. I know I was. You're already nervous and you're already set just to get the test. Can you envision being delayed 10 to 20 minutes trying to configure stuff and then and then even though they reset it, it's not like you're starting from fresh because you had to put out a fire. That's another reason to ask questions regarding the project management training and the online. A third reason to ask questions and uh, what I've done is to ask people who have done it before. That's something I always do when I'm in LinkedIn is I um, ask people, you know, okay, so you're taking Idol 4, what resources have you used? And that gives you better information. That's actually applying project management in the beginning, in the initiation uh, 
processing group, you have developed project management. And then develop project management, you take lessons learned and you put them in the project charter. Well, where do you get the lessons learned? You get lessons learned from the closing processing group of when you finish the project. So look at it this way, not just Idle 4, but any type of project management certification or really anything that you do. When you ask people who come before you, they can give you a lessons learned because they actually close that project and they can tell you what went well, what didn't go well, and what they would have done better. And by getting these lessons learned, you're using that lessons learned from the closing processing group as an input for the init for your initiating process groups of developing a project charter. See how I wrapped all of that in to project management and how someone's ending can be used to a better beginning for you. That's something that I would also recommend. And that's something I also help other people with. In a previous episode of Projectize, I talked about how I, in less than five days, I mentored someone towards him passing the Idol 4. So like my ending of passing the Idol 4, he used that as an input for his beginning and then he passed it and then he helped someone else. So the three things, the three reasons why you should ask project management training questions are one, so you won't get cheated. Number two, so you would know whether or not it's in-person or online proctor and what's required of you when you take these tests. And number three, the lessons learned from those who have come before you, especially if it's a new exam and there's not too much material. In my case with the IDO4, there's not a lot of material out there. It's only been out since February 28th, so that is six weeks there's not too many people out there with it. So um, the new people, when there's a new iteration, they become extremely valuable resources, acquire le- um, lessons learned from them, and they can help you. And as I mentioned before, if you do need consulting or any type of help in project management, IT service management, please get in contact with me at carlrjenkins.com forward slash contact. It's a form there. I read all of the emails you please share this out because this is so important. Uh, Projectize Project Management Show. You can follow me on periscope.tv forward slash Carl R. Jenkins. As I mentioned, my universal social media handle is Carl R. Jenkins and my website is Carl R. Jenkins. So I would like to thank all live and replay viewers for taking out the time to watch me on Periscope. I greatly appreciate you and I'll see you in the next live stream video. Goodbye.